Box. Rational Geographic. There are many species on planet Earth. Hundreds of them. Thousands of them. Hundreds of thousands. Thousands of thousands. Hundreds of thousands of millions. Millions and millions of them. But only one of them is capable of rational thought. Don't tell me. Human beings. That's right. Today in Rational Geographic. The car. Hello, I'm Bob. Human beings refer to these miniature dwellings as cars. This is where they spend up to three quarters of their lives. Observe how a human's personality changes when it enters a car. Pick up the pace, you dumbass! What the hell are you waiting for? Well, you gotta freaking move on, brain dead motherfucker. I'm gonna rip out your steering wheel, stick it up your butt, and give you a freaking driving lesson! Uh, but, but wait. But what am I doing? I just totally flipped out. Please forgive me, Father. There you have it. Once he steps out of the car, the average human reverts to his peaceful, mild-mannered behavior. Notice how the male of the species worships his vehicle. This baby's got mag alloy rims, a V engine, custom metallic bodywork, air conditioning, fully reclinable upholstered seats, four wheels, four doors, a steering wheel. Sometimes, it would appear that the male would rather copulate with his car than with a willing female. Why don't you drive me somewhere quiet so we can get freaky in the back seat? Are you crazy? Do you realize what that would do to the leather? Forget it. And here we see one of the paradoxes that can be observed in humans when they're inside their beloved automobiles. As I'm sure you remember, when the male is at the wheel, speed is always of the essence. Pick up the pace, you dumbass! What the hell are you waiting for? Well, you got a freaking move on, brain dead motherfucker. Now, for contrast, let's listen in on the behavior of a female in a comparable situation. No, not so fast! Not so fast! Slow down! Slow down! Jesus, not so... Are you finished? Uh, uh I guess. One cigarette? Exhilarating, isn't it? Here, once again, we observe that male and female human beings are fundamentally incompatible. No rational animal was harmed during the making of this documentary. Well, just a few.